The mistake you made was you killed my friend. So I'm going to kill each and every one of you. And the only disappointment in it for me is that I only get to do it once. <laughs> yeah, bug 50. Huh. Bloody dumb blickies. Show a wait for the real suckers can't run with me. Never kept a circle, I'm shaping the future breed. Teach your honor, accepting growth without the greed. Huh. Don't get it fucked up, though. You could get fucked up, seven in this clip. If I don't dump, I'm gon' snuff something. And my young boy gon' cut one, that ain't no problem. The cash moves him, he worry about no co signing. And loot ducks confiding, though it includes confinement. Don't confuse the kindness, I promise we suit the balance. Huh. New crack era west, you know this proof and timing. Work to this chessboard, you know my moves defining. Scratch who you believe in, you ain't showed no achievements. Your favorite rapper, consumer, why else you think he's leaning? Huh. You don't know the art of competing. Everybody fool, just know I ain't far from ceasing. Huh. Keep it to the eyes, nah, study body language. Learn from emotion and trust, it gets complicated. From what the shoddy painted, none the body wasted. Yeah, it's true, I guess Stu was already tainted. Yeah, it's true, I guess Stu was already tainted. From what the shoddy painted, another body wasted. Learn from emotion and trust, it gets complicated. Peep into the eyes, nah, study body language. Welcome, Boo Boo the Prince. Peace. Salute, man. I'm humble. Thank you so much for your time, man. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Get me on here and shit, man. Or yeah, no doubt, man. I mean, you got uh, I know, like I said, I know you've been hearing that, but um, you know, I'm gonna say it again. It's uh, it's fire. Your collection is fire. You, oh, it, it's it, it's building. Um, it it it's changing the tide of uh of some of the bullshit that's out there right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a good uh, it's a good um, breath of fresh air. You know what I mean? So definitely, you know, uh, I ain't got to tell you you're on the right track, but keep doing what you're doing. You know what Thank I mean? You. But yeah, man, um, definitely want to get into it, man. Um, uh, want to let the people know where you from? Um, Southern California. You know what I'm saying, um, San Diego. We about uh, ten minutes away from the border, of Mexico. You know what I mean, um, me and my people's on this side. We know it as Dago Zoo. You know what I mean, full of animals and all that. Um, specifically, the west side of San Diego. You know what I'm saying, you, right. got, your, you got your own, you got your own areas, and so you got the south, mm -hmm. east. You know what I'm saying, all that. So we on the west side. Mm -hmm. No doubt. And uh, coming up in San Diego, it's like you know, I'm from New York originally. You know what okay. I mean. So it's like. You know, um, I have no idea how like the hip hop scene, you know, is out there in San Diego. Um, how how is the current hip hop scene out there now? In my city, yeah, man. In my city, it ain't it ain't where it need to be. Right. You know I mean, as far as what I do, you know what I'm saying this this grimy shit, it ain't it ain't big at all. To be honest, it's only me and a couple. You know what I mean, yeah. um. I think it's always been like that. You know what I'm saying? You got like the backpack rap and shit, like the nerdy raps and shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's pretty big down here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You got the little independent battle leagues and all that. But, right, um, right, right, as, right. As far as this grimy, this, this, this street shit, ain't too much, man. You know, uh, yeah. ma majority of the artists, you know, that uh, make music down here, they do like the, um, the Bay Area style rap. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, it's, right. It's, it's real different. It's street rap, but, you know, the style is real different. You know what I mean? Right. Well, definitely listening to your music and um, hearing how you coming at it, it's, uh, like I said, it's not what I guess you, they would call traditional uh, uh, West Coast, San Diego, Bay, Bay Area hip hop. Scratch the wordplay, he to make your worst day to sleeping on me, ain't valid, that's what the birds say. Dago Zoo, smacks you out of you, cause it's a Thursday. Reverse
first his birthday in a box color the her state. You know what nah, I mean? Absolutely not, man. You know what I mean? Of the time, but yeah. of the time, they half of the people don't believe me. You know what I'm saying? Especially when I go out, go out, go out your way. Yeah. Like, nah, you ain't from Cali. You ain't from yeah. Cali. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had, I had, I had to, you know, look, look closely and shit. Once you know, start doing my education on, uh, on your catalog and. And you and looking, and I'm like, okay, yeah, that's dope. You know what I mean? Because uh, yourself and a couple of others, like you said, that's um that's coming out of Cali, and mm -hmm. and uh, and coming out with um with that that grimy, real, you know, lyrical classic storytelling style. You know what I mean? Wow. Which is um which is you know which is lost. You know what I mean? In today's I game, agree. you know what I mean? I agree. So it's like you know it's it's dope and. And for the fact that I'm thinking what you were saying, um, as far as uh, out there where you at is not too many, then that's that's nah. dope. That's dope. That's that, that's yeah. a good opportunity. I see because, it as an yeah. advantage. You know what I mean, yeah, it's an advantage like a motherfucker. You know what I mean? Wow. So uh, wow. definitely, you know what I mean. Take full advantage of that shit and 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 blow that motherfucker up. As I know you're going to. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the plan. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Um, like uh, coming up definitely in San Diego uh like what was your first memory of hip hop um damn man i remember being like 5 years old 6 years old um mm -hmm. i'm the youngest of 5 so my oldest sister at the time you know she was a teenager whatever 14 15 years old um she had a ludicrous joint you know what i'm saying and i you know i guess we don't consider that you know whatever 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 mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying but um i think that's i think that was the first time i ever heard a hip-hop joint and mm -hmm. it was the fuck you joint by ludicrous mm -hmm. you know what i mean and that shit was yeah. stuck in my you know what i mean yeah. it's some south shit right it's some dirty south shit but you know that shit was stuck in my head you know what i mean so um i think that was the very first time then from there i think it was like within the same week um you know, um, my sister was like incarcerated majority of her life. So the times when she was out, I was always with her. So she, she was playing some shit like um, X-rated. I don't know if you're familiar with mm -hmm. X-rated, Brother right. Lee Chong, right, you know right. saying, Sacramento yeah. rap and shit, but it was some street shit, right? Yeah, and yeah, I, and I remember she had the tapes and all that. I was like seven. You know what I'm saying? Seven, mm -hmm. eight years old. And I remember vividly, you know what I'm saying? I remember the joints. I used to go to elementary school and spit them joints like to everybody. And shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That shit was fire. But I think that's the earliest, you know, the earliest I ever, you know, witnessed rap at all that I can and, remember. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then from there, like, you know, what what was it that um that uh made you want to pick up the pen and 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 start writing? It was that it was actually her. You know, ironically enough, man, it was her, man. She was in and out. She was writing when she was in juvie. You mm -hmm. know what I mean, um, she, I think one of the one of the times she was out, you know, she had brought the rhymes she was writing when she was in inside, incarcerated, and um, for some reason she wasn't around. Um, she, I think she had like ran away from the crib or some teenager shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She wasn't around. I was staying in her room. And she had she had like the rhymes, the pages and the notebooks like on her wall. Right. You know what I mean, and I used to take them joints. You know what I'm I used to take it and I used to like rehearse them almost. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Acting, acting right. Like I wrote them shit. You know what I mean? So I took them <laughs> everywhere with me and all that. You know. So. So. Um, so need, needless needless think, to say, needless to say, your sister got balls. Yeah. Yeah. And and it, and it was even like. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even no punchlines and it just like street shit. Just like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm here, yeah. fuck you. Like exactly how I rhyme. You know how, you know, yeah. the way I approach rhyme, it's like in your face music. Like that's how that's how she yeah. rhyme. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Dope, dope, you know? dope, dope. Yeah, yeah. So, so so I think I think it was uh uh pardon me, cut you off. I think it was um she had ran away, she got locked up, I kept the notebooks, you know what I'm saying? I rehearsed them joint and it's I think it was like that same year inspired me to write my own song. You know what I mean? I wrote like eight bars or some shit and I was rhyming that shit everywhere. Like, yeah, I wrote that shit. Like, you know what I mean? And what <laughs> what was, was fire, the man. what was the reaction that you was getting? Um, 
it's just the fact that in elementary school that shit was so new, like nobody was yeah. doing that. Yeah, you know I mean, we had we had dudes that was beatboxing. You know what I'm saying beatboxing, they was popping and shit like pop locking. And right. um, I was only like me, me and some other cat. I remember like like yuck, it was yesterday. Some new kid that came from like another state and shit, and he was rhyming. I'm like, what? Man, watch what I hit him with. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I hit him with, and people was like, the reaction was crazy because you know I've always had that delivery, that aggressive style. You know what I'm right. saying? So right. um. Yeah, yeah. That was that was pretty fire, man. I remember now. That was dope. So um who is uh you know who influenced your style or who influenced you um you know I know your sister influenced you directly to rap, uh, but your style is such, you know, um, you know, it's 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 reminiscent of of, of a lot of great, great artists, but it's your own, you know what I mean? So who is someone like, you know, some of the, the influences that uh that you know helped you out there. Well, well, it was it wasn't until I was about nine nine years old, 10, 11, round round there. I was skateboarding and I attended this uh skating event. And mm-hmm. um I think it was the very, very, very first time I heard um the cream joint by Wu Tang. You know what I'm right. saying? And um that shit changed. I, I remember that exact day because I was asking everybody, like, hey, yo, what the fuck was that? Because they only played the hook and like half a half a uh uh, Ray's verse. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I was like, fuck. And I was asking people, like, yo, what the fuck was that? What was it? I didn't find out till like two months later. You know what I'm saying? The, but the beat was so compelling. Like, that shit was in my head. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, what the fuck was that? Yeah. Um, so once I found once I found out who Wu was, you know what I'm saying? It just, that shit fit perfect like a like a puzzle. That was, that was me. That was my style, that gritty, grimy, raw shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And from there, I found Big L, the whole DTC camp. You know what I'm saying? All that. You know what I mean? Yeah. No I doubt. Should, yeah. And it seemed like even when you when when you said uh, going back to uh, to Ludacris, right? Uh-huh. You know, say what you want to say. Ludacris is lyrical like a motherfucker. Right, so your 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 exposure your exposure was to somebody that was was lyrical. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah, definitely a punchline artist. They sleep on them like crazy. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like you know, definitely that that it, it was good that it was somebody at least that was lyrical. You know what I mean? <laughs> that you uh yeah. that you could uh you know pull from or you know or first you know you know uh heard it from, but um yeah, but you know you got a. a very unique and dope name, Boo Boo the Prince. Um, explain the meaning. Um, damn, there's a couple, man. To be honest, Boo Boo. Um, there's a there's a Mexican candy called Boo Boo Lubu. You know what I'm saying? And it got the the little. It's like a, it's like a little like a little teenager. Like he's like a polar bear. Right. You know what I'm saying? Boo 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 Lubu. Um. Other than that, one of my early influences, you know what I'm saying, was 50. You know what I'm right. Old right. 50. You know what I mean? I understand, you know, his old street name was Boo Boo. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite right. artists. You know what I'm saying? I just paying homage type shit. Right, you know right, I mean? right, but right, instead right. Of, instead, but I, just, I spelled it different, you know, with a U instead of double O. Right, you know what I'm right. Saying? I just, you know, I, I, I thought I just needed to switch it up a little bit. You yeah. know what I mean? But the Prince... The Prince part, the second part, I was always, you know, you know, cats come in, yo, I'm the dawn, I'm the king, and you know what I'm saying? I, me in life, I've had, I've had OGs, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm the youngest of five. They was all street, and um, I understand what I always understood what rank was. You know what I'm saying? Because I come from a family of gang members. You know what I'm saying? So I, I always understood for somehow like there was um not levels, but there was structure. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. organized. Like there's people you gotta answer to. So I, so I, so when I'm, so when I came in the game, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna boo boo the king. That shit don't sound right at all to me in my yeah. head. For me, me as an individual, you know what I'm saying? I understand right. the fact I'm a young homie. You know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah. later on I'll change the name, right? You know what I'm saying to something. But I understand I'm a young homie in this shit. I'm 26. You know what I'm saying? So right, I'm a young bull, man. So I, right, I'll be a prince for now. Later on, shit yeah. might change. You know what I'm saying? Right. No doubt. Well, you know, uh, shit. In certain cases, Prince, you know, they pull a lot of motherfucking power. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Sleep on an underdog for show. Yeah, it wasn't what what it was the Prince Machiavelli, right? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. the King Machiavelli. It was the Prince Machiavelli. So 
Exactly. You know what I mean? That 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 goes to show you, you know, what I mean, uh, you know, the great power and 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 everything that goes with that. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's a, it's a dope, it's a dope name, it's a unique name that stands out there, and and definitely when people hear your music, you know what I mean, it all comes together. You know what I mean? Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Without question. Um, like, you know, um explain to us a little bit, like you know, you touched into it, right? And and coming up you know uh out there on the west in san diego and like you said um you know coming from a family you know uh where you know shit shit is real you know what yeah. i mean and <laughs> yeah. and you got to learn real quick you know what i mean uh about life and about certain things or whatever and, sh and shit. like um you know what was the thing was go you know was writing and and uh you know writing 16s or or listening to hip hop was that a way like you know escape way or was you know how did that within that thing like you said you know you come from a gang like family well like how did that intertwine a little bit nah I, I, to be honest i don't think it was a skate scapegoat at all like i don't think that was a, you know what I'm saying for a majority of artists that's what it was I, right. I, you know for me i i seen more than what i've done i've done my little shit here and then my little street shit but i've seen more if anything when i was young when i was little you know what i'm saying um um especially here in the crib you know what i'm saying um like i said everybody was gang related and i was you know six seven eight years old and Right, you know right. I have the opposite. The opposite used to come to the crib and disrespect the crib, disrespect my parents. And I you know I'll peep that shit. Like yo, I, I didn't know what it meant at the time. At that time, you know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. Like it, it, it installed like a fear in me. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't understand what it was. Like who are these people? Why they come over here talking about fuck your side and fuck? The, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, so. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that made me aggressive as it is. Like that made me an aggressive person growing up. You know what I'm saying? Violent and shit. You know what I mean? Um, luckily enough, you know what I'm saying? Um, that gang life shit. Like I ne not, not, I never. How you say it? I was around it all my life, so that shit like it's mad normal. It was, I, you know, I've kicked it with certain people. Like they're my family members. You know what I'm saying? The gang, 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 gang folk and shit, but. I've never myself, I'm saying, I never got initiated or none of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I always felt like I was the black sheep when it came to that. So um, by the time I got to middle school, you know what I'm saying, um, hip hop was everything. You know, I was still skateboarding at the time. But by that time, you know, I had met homies who were going through the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Younger yeah. siblings of, you know, of the older siblings you know who were gang related and going through the same shit i did and we just you know we related on that you know what i mean and, and we just started freestyling and you know say digging in the culture by the time i got to high school like that it was it was cool. all, you know what i'm saying we was we graph we was hitting we was hit getting up you know what i'm saying starting our own crew and shit, you know what i'm saying just it was yeah, pardon me, pardon me. to answer your yeah. question nah it wasn't you know what I'm saying? I never like, oh, I'm gonna listen to this music so I can, nah, that shit, man, that shit was in my face all the time, man. Like growing right. up, that's all I really saw. And it was like, I like I said, I ain't gonna hold you. That shit like, it almost traumatizes you in the head. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know who's who, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and that shit just like, I don't, I don't know if that, that probably did make me violent, you know what I'm saying, in, in my own way. Cause when I got with my crew in St. High School, I was like, what's up? Yeah, I rep this, yeah, what up? Yeah, mm -hmm. I crossed you out, stupid. What up? Like, what you mm -hmm. want? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man. But me, music was that. Like I said, that shit was like a natural transition. You know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as I, like I said, those artists I was telling you, Big L and all that. Like, yeah. that shit was smooth. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the other thing is, like you say, you know, there's a confidence with that too. You know what I mean? It's not so much, you know, like. You know, you being a bully and whatever like that, but you like nigga, you like this is what it is, motherfucker. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You confident yeah. about your shit, and then, and then uh, hip hop, and hip hop, that's that's how you have to be. You got to be confident. You can't be uh, you know, uh, weak or looking down or some shit like that, because that's how motherfuckers yeah. is gonna come at you. You know what I mean? So yeah, to yeah. to 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 take that stance, you know what I mean, at an early age, you know what I mean, where you was doing it and recognize that. You know, I mean, that's uh, that's dope, and that, and and that's real. Um, when tell us about New Crack Era West. Mm. 
Okay. Um, I met Eco back late 2017, 2018, right. something like that. Um, a couple of my peoples from my section and shit, they had booked Eco out here. You know what I'm saying, and they they the cats in my in my city. Uh, they one of the few that you know anything when it comes to grimy East Coast New York shit like. Yeah. They responsible for that getting get into the city, you know what I'm saying? So they was booking early Benny the Butcher, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Early, you know what I'm saying? All all mm-hmm. them pounds and all them, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So um, by the time they had booked Ito, I had just met these cats, but like I I known them all my life, like they was always around because they from my section, the West Side over here, you right. know what I'm saying? Um, but I never greeted them or nothing. I just knew who they was because in high school. Just a little backstory, like in high school, you know, I, I had my crew and shit, and the dude who was like running the crew, he was like, he would always talk about these two cats, you know what I'm saying? And they brothers, you know what I'm saying? They brothers. Right. He always talk about these two cats. He was like, yo, you, you know, you don't, you know them. I'm like, yeah, I know who they are. Like, yeah, they the, they the guys, man. They, I'm like, why they the guys? You know what I'm At the time, um, them two, still to this day, they real close with the Wu. They close with like Jizz and all them. You right. know what I'm saying? Jizza calls him nephew and shit. You know what I'm saying? So so to us, you know what I'm saying? Us studying the culture, embracing the culture, you know, being the culture, mm-hmm. they was they was the OGs to us because of what, what they was doing. You know what I'm saying? Because our section is small, man. Our section is small and it's overlooked. And you know what I'm saying? Our section is like, it's a, um, they say it's like, it's one of those sections that's like underrated. You know what I'm saying? Right. They consider our section like suburb in a way, right. because of, you know the housing or whatever. But it's like it was nothing like that. At least when I was when I was growing up. You know what I mean? So um, anyway, that's a little backstory. So I've always known who these cats was, but I never met them. So long story short, I reached out. I heard they was doing a show. You know what I'm saying? And around the same time, I was like, you know what? Like I'm gonna try this shit out. I'm gonna put up a couple instrumentals. I'm gonna cop a couple leases, mm-hmm. write some bars. And see if I could perform it. See what happened, right? I hit them up. They was like, "Hey, yo, we bringing Etho out. Like, you want to rock? Bet what you need." You know what I'm saying? We. Got... Long story short, I meet up with these dudes. They was like, "Oh yeah, you so and so. You know, they know they know me. They people in over here in my area. They know me because of my older siblings. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I explained to you earlier. You know, the gang with right. shit." Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, you so and so little brother. Like, yeah, what's up? Are you Ron? I'm like, hell yeah, Ron. Like, yo, I offered to drive that weekend, Ito and my boy, my homeboys, right? Right. I was like, yeah, I'll drive y'all around for the weekend, whatever y'all need, goods, whatever. I got y'all. All right, bet. I meet Ito, you know what I'm saying? And um I'm driving around, I'm quiet, you know what I'm saying, keeping it humble because you know what I'm saying, I don't I don't want to come off as a jerk or nothing, you know what I'm saying? I don't want right, to be out of right. place, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, fanboy or nothing, yeah. Yeah, none of that shit, man. I'm driving them around, you know, buy food, whatever. It wasn't to the day of the show. Um, We was in the back of the VIP. I go up and rhyme. He's bugging out in the VIP. I see him bugging out. Like, yo, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I go back. Like, yo, what happened? Everything good? He's like, yo, what the fuck? I thought you was just a driver. Like, I didn't know you was rhyming. Like, what the, you know what I mean? I was like, yeah. I was like, yo, you fucking with it? He's like, yo, you fucking nice. Like, what the? He's like, how old is yeah. you? At the time, I was, I was 22 at the time. I'm like, oh man, I appreciate it, man. You know, we had a little rapport from there. He gave me a verse that same night. Um, Dope. He he was like, yo, and if you're serious, like, come up to my town. We'll shoot a video for the verse. Like, I gave you. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. So for then there, like that 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 relationship was established from there. You know what I'm saying? I go, I go, I flee, I fly me and my two homeboys out to Rochester. I think it was like two weeks later. We shoot a video. Unfortunately, it never comes out. The cameraman fucked up and got the all the files lost and shit. But when we when we go up, we build a relationship the whole time. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. We're going there, we chopping it up. You know what I'm saying? He's getting to know me from me, likewise, et cetera. Um, fly back that, home. Was that your first later. time? Was that your first time in New York? Nah, nah. I, I would or well, upstate, yeah. Upstate New York. Uh, yeah, upstate. Yeah. Right. We, we, you know, I went to his town in Rochester. Right, right, Rochester. Um, yeah. Way different to the city, man. Yeah, Shit, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, well, check this out. Uh, real, real quick, a little side note, man. The first time I ever, I ever hit New York, I was like 18, 19. 
I went by my I went Dolo. I went to Brownsville, man. I was mm. right there. I don't know. I don't know why my dumbass did that, but um, <laughs> you know what I mean, it, yeah. it's crazy because every every time I went out there, I was always in like, you know, what, what people call the grimy. You know what I'm saying? I was in yeah. Brownsville the first time. The second time I was in Southside, Jamaica Queens. You know what I'm saying? This this last time I went, I was a bed style. You know, it was cool, but it was you know what I'm saying it was crazy. It was yeah. crazy. But anyway, um, first time up upstate, the shit just like the movies. You know what I'm saying? The old cribs, the old houses. Like it was right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? For me as a as a West Coast cat, right? Yeah. Um I fly back three weeks later. Um he he bangs my line and he was like, Hey yo, I'm doing the mini new crack era tour. You wanna hop on like, a couple of these dates? I'm like, say no more. You know what I'm saying? A mm-hmm. week later, I fly me and my two homeboys out to we hit Jersey City and Philly. Right, he was like, "We gonna do two these two days, and we gonna do three days in the West Coast. I want you all on the West Coast ones. You know what I'm saying these two days. I'm like, I bet. Right. And I'm not asking no questions or nothing. I'm just saying, I bet. No problem. I'm there. Right. We hit those two dates. The next week, we come back to the West. We hit L.A. We hit L.A. Uh, Covina, which is like the East, like it's like in the Valley and shit. Mm-hmm. And the last date, we went to my city again." You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But 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 that third day we was in my city, we was at the hotel and he calls me to the room. Yo, what up, man? What up? Yo, man, like between me and you, you know what I'm saying? I want to do this new crack ever wet shit. You know what I'm saying? Like get your own chapter. You know what I'm saying? I see how you moving, whatever. Whatever you told me, right? Give me a little speech. All right. You know what I'm saying? What you think? I'm like, well shit, if you that serious, you better say that shit in my city tonight. Like you better announce that. You know what I mean? Like yeah, and, and we good yeah. to go. He he saw how I move. You know what I'm saying? I don't mm-hmm. I, I didn't need to say nothing. Like I you know what I'm saying? Whatever was gonna happen, whatever's gonna happen. Like I'm right. cool with it. Right. Right, so, so all good. Yeah, so so you know that night he announced it in my city. Yes, yeah, you crack arrow west right here. Look at this, boom. You know what I'm saying? And we performed we performed our joint. That That's you know, crazy. he gave me a verse for, and it was fire. It was fire. The rest is history, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just been building it up ever since. You know what I mean? And that you know, that was you know, that's that's really a a real dope move. That's a power move by Etho. You know what I mean? I agree. I you agree. know, because it's like um, you know, it's redefining. Well, it's defining what what the new crack era sound is. Mm-hmm. You know, or you know, it's up for interpretation. But what uh what I think the sound is and, you know, giving it love worldwide, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and you got artists, you know, artists on the West all over, you know what I mean? Who, um, who are inspired by, by that new crack ever sound, you know what I mean? So I agree, man. <clears throat> what you, yeah, what you doing and in, in it's, it's, it's being on the forefront of something that that's definitely is going to get, uh, I, I, no question is going to get, uh, you know, wider. You know what I mean? It's gonna grow like a motherfucker. You know what I mean? And, I agree, um, man. Yeah, well, that's 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 definitely dope. Shout out to Etho. You know what I no mean? No doubt, man. No <laughs> doubt yeah. because the truth is, I tell him all the time. I'm like, thank you, bro. Because you know why? Because you didn't have you didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have to do that. Number right. one, you didn't have to, right? Number two, you could have chose somebody else who established. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I had like fucking 800 followers, but you know when he told me that shit. Right. So either either he saw something that I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, it's yeah. I mean, I, I I don't know exactly, but you know, but what I know now, the music that you put out <clears throat> and the product you put out, videos, um, the EPs, albums, and, and things that you've done, then I, I I'm kind of kind of know what he saw. You know what I mean? You know, and a lot of other people see that shit too now. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a good call. It's like some motherfuckers. Uh, will have the good call and keep that shit right in their pocket and don't do nothing with it. And other mm-hmm. motherfuckers will, bosses, kings, shit like that, they they know how to do things like that. You know what I mean? Well, but definitely, best of, best of luck with, um you know, New Crack Ever West, you know what I mean? And, and and building that. And, and right now, it's, it's just you? Right now, it's just me currently looking for artists right now. But, you know, okay. um just how... He was picky, and he don't, he don't just let nobody in. You know what I'm saying? Right, of which course. Is smart, which I which is something that I love and I respect him. I respect him a lot. Yeah. He, to me, he my OG, and I tell him all the time, like, yo, 
I understand I'm doing my thing, but I answer to you and I know it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I keep it humble. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, why am I going to front for it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Man, I was like, man. as long as you entrust me to to build your vision, we good We good at that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, so, you know, yeah, a lot of loyalty, respect, and humbleness. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? All that together in the pot is power. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you display yeah, in that, you, you, you good. Yeah. yeah 1000 so so you know um i'm just building it up right now just building yeah. it up right now and um yeah i think this year this year we gonna we i got my eye on a, on a couple artists um so we gonna see what, what's gonna happen man yeah. so right now but you know with um i believe right now it's uh you ito j black right yes sir. J yeah j black yeah. so even with that right there that that trio right there is like a fucking awesome j black know? man yeah wow. it's incredible wow. <laughs> that's what i'm saying you heard so, shit, right yeah yeah of course you know what i mean so like i said that's bars that's bars upon bars you got bars upon bars ito bars oh, upon you, bars them right? dudes, man damn so, boy, them dudes Christ, yeah, man. you and you you in great company. I gonna hold it down. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, that that brings me to um, bring me to the project, your latest project, right? Uh, what is that? Is uh, what you see is what you uh, what you see is what you get. Yeah, what you see is what you get. One thousand percent. Um, man, that shit basically done, man. I'm just waiting on a feature, really. Um, okay, it's done. Um. Yeah, tell us about I'm the, proud the of you know, it. yeah. I, I'm proud of no no pardon me. I was thinking. Um I'm proud mm -hmm. I'm proud of it though. I'm proud about what it's becoming because um it ain't rushed. Cool. It, ain't, cool. it ain't rushed at all. It's still like the same boo boo like in your face. I'll rock you, so what? You'll push right. me, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? That kind of music. Because you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's cool, it's cool, you know. Eventually I'm going I'm going to bloom and I'm going, you know, be a little versatile, you know what I'm saying, with the content. But they ain't, there ain't nothing like rider music. Like there ain't nothing like putting them headphones on, you know what I'm saying? Riding down the whip, down the Ave, bumping some ill shit, like some DJ Clue mixtape shit, like some, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> shit, get to uh to Boulevard Dumb. Let's yeah, talk sir. about that joint. Yeah, what's, what's Yeah, some, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted to expose a little, a little, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like those people in the video, like they gang members, but I've known them forever. Like they really just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's family straight up. You know what I'm saying? So when I asked them, well, they always ask me, like, Yo, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let us hop in the videos. I'm like, I go and make it happen. You know, but it, that that was just an that was just an example of like. A little taste of like where I come from, you feel me? Right. And it's not necessarily I was promoting that or, or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just what it, it is. What it is, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, what you see is what you get. So yeah, it's life music at this point. You know what right. I mean? And 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 sorry, not to cut you off on that. But you're going to definitely go back to the album, but you know the thing is, it's life music. You know what I mean? So it's like you know, fuck it. You know. Uh, gang culture, whatever the yeah. fuck it is, is 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 life. This is the shit that's currently going on. The motherfucking world is is, is like fucking that chaos. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you know you anything that that that's that's strength, that's power, that's family, you know what I mean? You know, fuck that. You know what I mean? It, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I just, <laughs> yeah, I was just always hesitant because I ne I never wanted it to get it twisted to like you know, people get a misconstrued, man. People like um I know artists that like they that's that's what they want to brag about, like, oh yeah, like this is where right. I come from. Like you know what I'm saying? And, it, and it's not that. And it's not that for me. Like I want um in a way where I expose it, you know, little by little, but right. it's still an art in itself. Like it's not, I'm not bragging about it at all. I'm not bragging about the life at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's kind of hard to explain, man. But you know what it, I try it, my I, I try my best to not um it's like you're a narrator at the same time, right? Because you got life experience at that 20, 26 years old. It's a uh, you experience a lot thus far and seen a lot, you know what I mean? So, you know, you being the creative guard that you are, you know what I mean? You're gonna tell it right, that's why it's hitting, 
That's why right. motherfuckers. That's why motherfuckers is fucking with you. You know what I mean? Nah, because word, it's, it's it's the natural process. You know what I mean? You seeing what the fuck is going on, and you got the 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 great talent to uh to tell us in a poetic way. You know what I mean? Yeah, one thousand. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, with with um with that album, uh, any uh any favorites thus far you got? Um. Yeah, man. I got one coming out, man. Um, we doing the visual right now. Um, mm -hmm. produced by my man Vinyl Villain out in Boston. Um, mm. shit called Bozo Thug. Shit, ill, man. Just like mm. the whole the whole vibe is just dark. Not horror, not horror dark, but like right. grimy, like ill shit, man. Ill shit. I'm telling you, man. We shooting the visual for that right now. Shit. And what's the name of it? Crazy. Bozo Thugs. Oh, so thugs, okay, yeah, yeah. please, yeah, please man. be on the lookout for that joint. You know, some of the other joints that you did, the one the you did an EP before, before, um, yeah, I for an eye, I for an eye, you know what I mean? Yeah, tell us about I for an eye, man. Man, that's just crazy how that happened, man. I kind of, I kind of freestyled there. You know, my man, uh, Sire, he, he's originally from the Bronx, but he stay out in mm -hmm. PA now. Um, right, ill cat, man, down to earth cat. I, I, I don't know how I met him. I think he produced the joint on my first, first, first EP I did with. Uh, we had a track. Um, me and Etho had a track called Bodega's Finest, and that's the one he produced. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we just started chopping it up. I gave him a math. We started, you know, what I'm saying connecting. Cool people's man, like ill. He cool, cool as fuck, down to earth, real honest. You know what I'm saying? Family yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? But he cut from that cloth. You know what I'm saying? He just. I mean, sure. he's doing the music shit. So, um, he sent me a pack, man. He just sent me a pack, and, and it happened to have all four joints on there. And I'm like, "Yo, man, this shit <laughs> took me somewhere for sure." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It took me yeah. like almost like like grimy shit, but cinematic in a way. You know what I mean? Right, without question. Um, yeah, you know. So, um, I, I, the only reason, the only thing, like people don't like about it is that it was so short. You know, four, yeah. four tracks. You know what I'm saying? Shit yeah, about the demo. Yeah. Yeah, is, uh, was that joint with um is raw is raw on that? Yeah, yeah. raw is crazy. Uh huh. West Side's finest. They go so the crack album. Yo, yo, fuck what they talking. Niggas don't wanna see me live. Wake the Blake round like a chopper. I feel like Petey Pop. We get it proper. We talking that fettuccine pie. Stay old school like big body coops with the CD slide. Out west, we throw up dubs just to hold it down. Black is hot, but we walk around with the coldest smile. Never folded, but notice I got a potent sound. Cutting poses down, so peep, they got a rodent style. Yesterday, Paul Castellano, the head of the Gambino family, the largest of them all in this country, murdered outside a restaurant on East 46th Street. In the world of organized crime, the tradition is that murders do not go unavenged. The mistake you made was you killed my friend. So, I'm going to kill each and every one of you. And the only disappointment in it for me is that I only get to do it once. <laughs> yeah, bug 50. Huh. Look dumb blickies. Show a wait for the real suckers can't run with me. Never kept a circle, I'm shaping the future breathe. You got this much. You got this much. I ain't gon' buy up like, huh? What's the word? One way or another, this sucker gon' learn. 858 life with street cats protect your serve. Quick to split your face, and with that, we paint the curves. My pea shooter was out through, was frozen like a sculpture. He thought he was funny, trying to leech off my culture. Uh, play with the poker, pulled out the razor, just started to draw on him. They said, Now you really the Joker. Gives a fuck who you was or where you from, son. That's words of onyx. Don't speak unless you throw your guns up. Put the bum rush, you suckers. I'll leave you busters lumped up. Then package your bloody chain smoothly through customs. Who snuffs them? Gorilla with the eagle on them. Leave the fees upon you. Slice your face. I bet you see the portal. Yeah. 
huh? Cream of the crop. You seem asleep with the fiends, meaning you tend not to read what you cop. Speed for the drive, quick to make you bleed before you ride. Giant shot to the head is the key for cease to alive, huh? True shit, I'm the nicest. Presence is enough, intimidate the building. I don't need to hit a cipher. Bitch of the life was you a shooby. Look at what they hype up. Throw your ass in the palm, like take a hype duck, huh? What's coming up also, man? Uh, you know, just to let the people know we got the album coming out in February. We got the March. album. Yeah. I'm, uh, we're going to start doing some freestyles, you know what I'm saying? Take it back. You know what I'm okay. saying? So that old school, like, that Philly shit, you know what I'm saying? Old school yeah. shit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, just bring, try to bring back the essence, man. Like, um, nowadays, what I see, especially in my in my lane, in this lane, man, people are getting lazy, mad lazy with the content, man. Like, they ain't shooting no covers. Like, they're paying a bullshit ass, quote unquote, graphic artist, like $20, $15. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To put a, a mesh of a couple. It's just like, yeah, it's, getting, yeah. it's getting lazy in general. The mindset is getting lazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People throwing a fucking loop and they rap with the loop. And it's like, yeah, I'm a fucking art. Like, I'm a, you know what I'm right. saying? It's, it's right. just, it's, it's getting dumbed down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. So what you know, what, you know, me and the team, we just we talking about is just let's try to bring it up the bar again. Yeah, elevate. As far as quality, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So. Elevate it. But um, definitely, I want people to look out uh for all for all the music that uh that Boo Boo the Prince has on um all streaming platforms mainly, right? Spotify, yeah, iTunes, all that, iTunes, all uh, that shit, Amazon Music, mm -hmm. um. You know, just uh, put in your search "Boo Boo the Prince," and you'll see a lot of um, a lot of the dope product that uh, that'll come up. You know what I mean? Definitely oh, salute the uh, to new crack era. I want to send a uh, definitely a special shout out to Jay Rios. You know what I mean? My brother for sure. Yeah, man. What's up? What's up? What's up with Jay Rios, B? You know Yo, what I, I mean? I, I, I respect bro so much, man. Like he's like the definition of a solid dude all around like and not even just sure. in, that's like that's his essence you know what i'm saying you remind me For of sure. a cat that's like overall man like all around bro not one like not one bone of like like uh how you say it i was gonna say scandalous but like right um He's real. He's as, as real as it comes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's genuine. If he don't like something, he'll let you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I respect that a lot, man. For real. Yeah, and, and that's, you know, salute to him because that's like, uh, that's a lost trait right now, motherfuckers. You know what I mean? They ain't got that. They, they, they wearing a false mask all day and shit. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's I like, um, that. yeah, salute to Jay Rios. Uh, salute to Mark. He's also uh, yeah, yeah, Rock City yeah. Mark, man. Yeah, yeah no you know what I mean? And, um, like I said, Jay Black, Etho, and the whole uh, New Crack oh, Era man, family. Wow. And definitely salute to you, the New Crack Era West, you know, representative, doing what you're doing. Um, once again, like I said, go out there, check everything that's out there that Boo Boo the Prince got. Thank you for coming through, brother. This was like classic, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, definitely until we meet again, man. Salute, bro. I'm humble. Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. Definitely. Peace.